I totally forgot. Um, I was just about to go to sleep. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Um, and reset just happened, but there is a spider tournament coming up soon in about two hours. And I did put a team together for barbarians. It's not like the best team out there, but it's a team that works. And, um, yeah, I'll just share it with you guys real quick. Nothing too, too fancy. Um, but I'll share the stage I'm going to be doing to get her done as well as um, the builds that I have for some of the champions here. And if it helps somebody, great. If, uh, you know, you got a better team, you know, you already know what to do. Just just share it. But this is... That's not the team. Where is it? Um, this is the team here. I think this is the team. Yeah, this is the team here. So I will be doing... I'm actually going to see how far I can go with this. Right now, I'm positive affinity mostly. My two main sources of damage will be Chronum and Thor, and I'm going up against Stage 1 hard. Now, if you can do Stage 1 hard, it's a lot better than doing any normal stages, right? Because any any hard stage is going to be better than any normal stage, and that's just the way that it is. But if you can't get here yet, don't worry about it. You'll eventually uh, get there. Just, you know, it just takes time. And so the way that this works is Chronum is going to do Chronum things. I forgot to re-gear him because I just finished Amius and I took gear off of him. But I guess you could just say most of the damage is coming from Thor. Because now that I'm looking at this again, I remember Thor is just giving the spider the business. Like the full the full plate, the full order, the full eight-piece combo. It's not the craziest time out there but i mean you know what i mean like it, it's hard it's hard there are the hard dungeon um, i have limited champions when it comes to barbarians these are probably like my best barbarian champions that i could put together for um for this and so you know it it, it is what it is and um yeah i mean this is a pretty solid team if you think think you can go faster like let me know I'd, I'd be interested i don't really care about going that fast you know i'm just gonna get it done and call it a day i'm not too worried about anything but like these are my <laughs> these are my barbarian options you know slim pickings right there like what am i gonna do armand's turn meter does he pull, you know what i mean like what's he gonna do uh contra you know there's not there's not too much going on but thor is actually pretty key here I really like Thor. I'm so glad I went for him. And I'll definitely be showing you his build here. Let's bump it up. We're still positive affinity on stage 5. Just trying to see where this goes. How far this goes. HP burns are helping. But of course most of the damage is going to be coming from Thor doing his thing. Now a lot of you guys were correcting me. And as always, thank you guys for correcting me. That instead of Soul Reap... I should be putting Thor in Nature's Wrath. And I looked at, or I, I guess I skimmed over Nature's Wrath to look at what that was. And it increases his damage for the uh, amount of, I'm going to take a look at it again right now. The amount of buffs, or the, the amount of debuffs that he places. My question is, does it stack? Like right now in Spider, he's placing stuns left and right right so with each stun does that increase the damage does it does it multiply i mean does it add something like that um wow that was actually pretty cool i i, I like that that just just you know what i mean and so that that's my question here like what's the limit for this and is it only as those debuffs that he places are active that he gets a boost to attack or or damage like i wonder what that is so 39 turns is pretty good, you know? I might even... And we were nowhere near failing, I think. There was no... nowhere At no point did I ever see anybody die. Not even Jamarsa. Jamarsa's not wearing anything. Uh, let's try stage 9, out of curiosity. Stage 9 is going to kill us, watch. Yeah, as always, try to do the highest stage that you can go for hard. Alright, so we get our HP burns up. And oh, oh, never mind. Spoke too soon, but 
Karnum should be coming back, right? Karnum comes back? Yeah, he comes back. He's all right. He's okay. Thor, our Loki is in a cursed set. I'll show you guys his build. Honestly, I haven't even used Loki for anything. I should probably turn off his A, whatever that is. No, I like I like that spread. What am I talking about? It's a nice spread. Yeah, I, I haven't used Loki for anything. So I, I don't really know um what that's gonna what's that what that is uh, gonna what am I trying to say? What that's gonna look like whenever I do end up using him. But where are you guys using Loki? And um this looks like I don't know. I'm going to let it go for a few more seconds and then see where it's... Yeah, no, this is not going to go anywhere. All right, so five is my limit. I'll stick to five. All right, so let me show you guys the presets, and then I'll show you guys the builds as well. Where is it? Uh, let me show you here. So as you can see, Chronum needs to... I need to put gear back on Chronum. If I get this thing, this notification always stays a lot longer than it needs to. All right, team setup. This is what I have going on. Chronum in the lead. If you can do better, do better. But accuracy is just what I'm going for. So just take a look at um, the presets. This doesn't really matter for Jamarsa. Tuana Rock, I'm just starting with the A3, but Relentless doesn't matter. Thor, I'm starting off with the A3 into the A2. What do you guys think? Do Should I, should I have started? Well, I think this is proper because you want to uh, decrease the res and then also place these buffs as well. Uh, and then roll into this. And then Loki, just starting off with this because he's in a cursed set. So I want him to place the hex because that helps out. And then, um, what do you guys think? Should I turn these off? But I like the turn meter fill on this move here. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the main contenders here. Uh, I'll be honest, Chronum and Jamarsa, uh, like, don't matter too much. Like, Chronum, he's not even um, built. I mean, I could just throw on whatever i'm not gonna do it right now i'll do it later off camera but um he's built in a regular sand devil slash amius setup uh i beat amius with this chronum um but i borrowed gear from other champions if you want to see that video just go check that out i show my build there for him uh, awesome champion definitely worth i think going to do the hassle for just it's a slog but if you do happen to have him fully booked brimstone here are the masteries uh, don't blindly copy masteries, but, you know, go ahead, blindly copy those masteries. And then we have Loki here in a hex set. He's missing a ring. Didn't even realize that. Um, still kind of experimenting to see what he's, you know, what he's up to, what he's doing, but I haven't really found a place to use him. Uh, here are his stats. I think I focused on speed, accuracy, and survivability just to make sure that he places the debuffs and or the hex because I was trying to see what he would do in Hydra. Uh, fully booked. I don't remember when I booked him, but he's booked. And I I guess he's got masteries, so blindly copy these masteries if you want to. But if you know better, please inform me. And then Thor, let's go ahead and take a, the, take a look at the main man. Now, Thor is in a Slayer set. He is in a seven-piece Slayer set. I'm going to, during this next CVC, like forge a crap ton of um, Slayer gear. Uh, so what I plan to do is just um, Slayer, all of this, with Mythical uh, setup, and then we'll re-gear Thor and um, also get that gear ready for Marius because that's going to be huge whenever I, I do get Slayer set. But the issue that I don't like is that Polarium doesn't really hand out uh, the accessories. Like, you have to buy the pass, and I haven't bought anything in Raid in such a long time, but it, it really bothers me. So the next time Slayer comes around, like if the next few months will give me enough time to really think about it, if I really care about it, if I really want it to to get more Slayer accessories. And if I do, you know, we do. But if I don't, then I won't. Um, sometimes I give myself some time to uh, see how I feel about a purchase because I don't really buy things all that much anymore. I buy games, that's about it. And then stuff for my wife. Uh, Thor's not fully booked. Took Soul Reap, but you guys were saying to put on Nature's Wrath. Increases the damage inflicted by this champion for every debuff they successfully place, except by gear sets. So let's read it a little more, because I kind of looked at it, but not really. Increases the damage uh, by 2%, up to 8%. So I think the way that I'm understanding this 
is that it's a permanent 8% as long as you're placing debuffs. And I don't think it's uh, conditional based on if the debuff is still up. I think it's just a flat out, hey, if you place these with um, with your skills, that's an 8% boost to damage, and then it goes up to 38%, and then um, 70, 38% here. Oh, wait, that's just the... Never, ignore that part. Up to 15, and then 30% here on a 6. But eventually when I do get the 6, if I do, because you never know, uh, if I do, I'm going to switch over to Crushing Rend to ignore defense uh, every time Thor takes uh, puts out damage. Here are the Masteries, taking Helm Smasher. Feel free to blindly copy Masteries or adjust and scale according to your own. Did I show you guys the stats? Well, let me show you the specific pieces of gear focusing on crit rate, speed, crit damage, and um, more damage. And, you know, eventually I'll max all this gear out. I kind of just put gear on him just to make this work temporarily. But when CVC comes around, I'll be reworking Thor Feyhammer and uh, focusing on attack and crit rate, crit damage. But again, as I said, this is j I threw anything on him. Just I, I threw Slayer on him just to make it temporarily work, but do not copy this build. Uh, these are not the stats, but if I had to prioritize stats, it would be attack, speed, 100% crit rate, crit damage, some accuracy, and then some, some survivability. Remember, he does have a low base defense, so put some defense on him, balance it out accordingly with HP so that he doesn't die in just one hit. Um, but yeah, ideally this would be an attack percent chest. And again, like I have to iterate, do not copy this specific build. He's not ready, he's not optimized. Uh, I just threw something on him while I was on my phone, on an airplane. Like You know what I mean? So... <laughs> I didn't have the Hell Hades optimizer, and I wasn't going to sit there and really min-max anything. I was getting drunk on a plane, so uh, don't, just don't. Just, just don't. We're going to put this on because I trust that the majority of you guys who were telling me to put on Nature's Wrath are correct. So there's the, oh, Tuonarok. I don't, I don't know if you guys care to see Tuonarok, but um, let, let me see here. She's in your standard um, speed, accuracy. Relentless build. Um, not much to say about her. Uh, she already does what she does. Cleansing, placing the decrease attack and the increase speed and increase defense. So, yeah. 